Remember Town of Salem? You know, that one game these small YouTubers played six years ago? You know? Well, you're in love because I love this game. But enough about me, let's talk Town of Salem. So what is Town of Salem? It's inspired by the party games Werewolf and Mafia, where it's a game of murder, mystery, and deception. Sounds familiar? Think of Among Us. But we're not talking about that. We're playing a good game. Are you sure about that? Anyway, what I like about this game is that it has almost 50 roles, which is why I think it's much better than the standard murder mystery, the murderer, the sheriff, and the innocents or bystanders. Need I mention that this game is purely chat or text, so you have more than enough time to come up with lies. But anyway, let's get into it. This round, I rolled Sheriff, where I can find people if they are suspicious or not. Now, as the Sheriff of this year town, it is my responsibility that I keep you all in check. So none of y'all gosh darn evildoers get past behind me. Starting with you, Minecraft. I know what these carrots say. I know you're a bad game. But let me check you. Oh no! Anyway, friends, I can confirm that Minecraft is a good game. You can go home now, Karens. Okay, this town literally has no information. So, we're gonna start a vote for all or VFR. DJ! Time for the test! Yeah. <coughs> it was you! You were the baby! No, no! I only caught! I swear! Yeah. <coughs> it was you! No, no! DJ! Turn it up! No, no! I'm a goofy goober, yeah. You're a goofy goober, yeah. This guy isn't responding. You know what we're gonna do. <laughs> Alright, Minecraft. You have slipped past me and you're good for now. I call the next suspect Ohio. You gosh darn. Uh, Ohio people have done enough wilding for one day, but I'm here to stop your nonsense if I even find one bit of evil from you. Yeah! No! Friends, I can confirm that Ohio is a good place to live in. We interrupt this program to bring you Courage the Cowardly Dog Show! Medium. Night one, no dead. Night two, 15 clips, 8 is Framer, and 13 is Janitor. Oh well, this guy's being honest. So they're not even denying it, but they're blaming someone else that they can keep their own skin alive. So Town's natural reaction is to get the guy he's accusing because bigger threat. Long story short, we just killed six the fake medium and revealed to be the coven leader. But wait, how did 13 the janitor know that information? It's time for Scum Reading Tactics 101 for Town of Salem newbies with much much. So essentially, this person, 15, is a serial killer. We know this because Medusa died to a serial killer. And since only one person got stoned by that Medusa, this person is the S king. The medium then says 15 the serial killer that two people are Framer and Janitor. Which is a little suspicious because it's impossible for SK to know their exact roles when they died at night one. I heard that! We could assume that both Framer and Janitor got controlled previously, which prompts the janitor to call them out on their fakeness. Regardless, we just found three evils and can benefit the town, right? Right? Alright, who next on the chopping block? We'll see if all problems are indeed a problem. Evil! Too suspicious! This just in! All problems are problematic! Late Sheriff Queen. Yo, what the fuck? Bro, I've been posting daily, my brother. Just get two. What the hell? So basically, Town got led by Mafia and killed someone else that's not Mafia. Dear Doyer, I don't know how much long I can live for. The mafia is outside my house, and they've come from my head. I just want you to know that I love this town. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Finish it! Finish it! 
Sultana is doomed at this point because Mafia has earned a majority in which they have three members against two town members. And I'm still rather salty because town could have voted off the Mafia, instead they let themselves get sheep by the Mafia members. 